Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about baking textures in order to retain surface detail when you are reducing the polygon count of your models, otherwise optimizing them, optimizing the poly count using the Insta LOD tool. Okay, so for this example we're going to be using this character right here, and the reasons for doing this are so you can actually combine all your, all your textures into one material, which saves resources that way, and also when you're reducing the poly count you're additionally uh, uh, you're saving additional resources by reducing the poly count there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this character we're using uh, right now. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at this little midsection uh, corset or bodice, uh, whatever it's called there. Okay, this item right here. You can see if we zoom in, uh, some fairly nice details there on the uh, stitching on the side, as well as the buckles here. The buckles have significant detail on them. This little straps coming out like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the materials on this um, item right now here. Okay, so over here on the right we have, you know, leather top, leather bottom, all sorts of different materials, and they all share the same base color, base color map and everything like that. Okay, and you can see the link on the bottom left corner of the thumbnail there that indicates they're all sharing the same uh, texture map. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to reduce all these materials. We're going to bake them all into one single material. Uh, in the process of uh, optimizing the poly count as well. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the poly count. You can see up here the selected triangles is 47,258. And we can press the Alt 2 hotkey to uh, toggle the wireframe mode on and off. That's Alt 2. Okay, and you can see, especially around the buckles here, we have some very significant detail. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the poly count quite significantly. We're going to take it down from 47,000 to 2,000. Okay. And you can see the stitching on the side here has additional uh, detail there as well. But most importantly is these buckles here. You can see a fairly high poly count in, this, in these certain areas right there. Okay, so let's Alt-2 and uh, toggle that off for now. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to Insta-LOD, and we're going to choose Polygon Reduction for our object. Okay, and we're going to just move this uh, little window up there. And you can see again, uh, fa whoops, fairly high poly count right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the face count all the way down to 2,000 from 47,000. Okay, so what's going to happen is this is actually going to reduce the poly count quite significantly. And in addition, you know, what's going to happen in these little buckle areas here is they're going to be significantly damaged. Uh, we'll, we'll see what I mean in just a sec here. I'm going to do this first without making the texture and kind of show you an example of what's going to happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and just apply that. And in just a moment here we'll see... Wow, okay, so there, there you see, you know, the, the rest of it doesn't look too bad. The straps are kind of like, you know, a little bit messed up. But mostly these buckles are really kind of, you know, messed up. And that's not what we want. Um, you know, we want to maintain that detail while still being able to reduce the poly count quite significantly. So I'm just going to go ahead and Control z that to undo that. Okay, and you can see it now restored back to its normal. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. Let's go select the BOTUS. And, uh, whoops, we're going to... Uh, go to reduce poly count for the object and this time we're going to uh, keep the 2000 face count but we're also going to bake the textures and for this one it's a 2k uh, model so I'm going to just uh, select two, 2048 texture size okay if you have a higher uh, resolution model you can also use 4k I'm going to use 2k for this example here and we're going to do, we'll go ahead and do is apply and what you're going to see happen is a, a Bodhi's, uh item appear over here uh, right, right now okay so you can see the Selected triangles has been taken down to 1958. Okay, so quite significant uh, reduction there. And the original bodice right here is, if we just uh, make this visible right there, you can see 47,258. Okay, and we can toggle between the two just like this. So notice that this one, we don't have as much of a dramatic reduction in the, uh, you know, quality of the uh, buckles right there. They still look fairly, you know, coherent. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and close this now and take a look at the difference in materials. So you can see it still looks fairly decent, okay? And what we're going to do, and that's a huge reduction, okay? What we're going to do is go over here to the materials of our of our uh, new bodies. You can see bake faces. It has uh, insta-LOD bake with a suffix and faces to 2000, okay? And you can see over here we only have the one material now, and we have a diffuse map and a bump map, okay? So let's take a look at the difference. So the diffuse map, if we take it down to uh, zero, you can see, let's just go ahead and maybe uh, change the diffuse color a little bit to a little bit grayer here, something a little bit uh, easier to see the detail. Okay, so you can see here, this is without the diffuse map. So the diffuse map essentially 
bakes the texture details, whereas the bump map that I'm going to show you momentarily bakes the mesh details. Okay, so all the mesh details you can see in the buckles there. Okay, so this is the diffuse, uh, without the diffuse map. So you can see we still have the buckles, fairly uh, nice. Okay, and if we take down the uh, bump, so here's our bump map. If we take the bump map down, we're going we're to have nothing. Okay, this is just the basic mesh. So this is what the mesh has been reduced to, and you can see those, you know, edgy sections there of, of the buckles. Whereas if we increase the bump map, you can see, there we go. Okay, so that's the difference that baking your uh, texture will create. Okay, so we can go ahead and uh, increase the uh, strength. And if we, you know, take the bump map down, you know, there you're going to see the difference there as well. Okay, so quite a significant difference in, in detail there. And on the side as well a little bit, okay. So that's really how easy it is to significantly reduce the amount of resources that you know certain items are going to take. And you can see a comparison here between the 47,258 triangles versus the uh, 1,961. You know, not a very noticeable difference from a distance. Okay, uh, so it's a good idea to you know utilize this whenever you can to reduce the draw call and the resources that your models are taking up in your game engine. And uh, that's about it. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you learned a lot. And make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.